What is up guys? How's it going today? Yes, my name is SarahTube and today we're coming at you with another old school RuneScape money making live stream. Thanks for tuning in today. Thank you for joining us. I know we're streaming a little bit later than we normally do. Uh, that will be the case for the rest of the week here. I've just been on like a later stream schedule with work. So hopefully you guys don't mind it too much and hopefully you guys can all tune in as well. So thank you for tuning in today. We're going to get into some money making and flipping here in old school RuneScape. So, of course, hopefully you enjoy. Leave a like if you do. And, of course, if you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the live chat. That's what I'm here for, helping you guys learn how to flip in old school RuneScape. So, first, we're going to start off with some of our bread and butter items, as we like to call it. The Amulet of Torture is going to be the first item that we put up. Now, I like to do the Amulet of Torture in the beginning of my flipping sessions because I find it's just one of the most consistent and large money makers that I have. Also, it's nice to do it in the beginning of the live stream so there's a little bit less competition. Uh, and I just like to get it out of the way. It's a really solid flip. Looks like we're only going to be getting 25k on the amul amulets excuse me, of torture today. I used to say, like, omelets of torture, believe it or not. Go back, like what maybe 50 live streams you'll hear me say that uh, quite a few times so anyway we're gonna go ahead and put in seven of the amulets of torture we're gonna list that let it do its thing and it should go relatively quick like i said only getting 25k per amulet of torture which is actually lower than i would typically get usually when i'm flipping an amulet of torture i'm gonna be getting it going to be getting at least 60k so i'm actually uh a little bit disappointed in that but in my opinion it's still worth to flip for 25k Next, we're going to do the Amulet of Fury. Very similar item. Uh, of course, it's just without the Zenite on it. And these are better than the Amulets of Torture if you have a lower cash stack. So, uh, if you're trying to flip these Amulets of Fury, I'd say go in with about 30 or so mil. But we're not going to flip them today because the margin is only 2k. These flip very, very fast. And sometimes you can get a 10k margin on them, which really makes it worth your time. So, uh, definitely check that out if you're interested. But we're going to keep moving here. We're going to do Zolver Scales next. Zolver Scales are just such an easy flip to put in. And you can basically just sit back and watch them uh, flip. And it's it's just really easy money to make. The limit is 30k every 4 hours. But like I said, uh, similar to the Amulets of Fury here. Only for a 1gp margin, it's not really worth it to flip the Zolver Scales. So we're actually going to stay away from flipping that today. Uh, but we'll get back to that maybe later in the stream. I'm not entirely sure, but I do like really flipping those Zolver Scales. So we, we're going to check on those in a little bit here. Anything above a 2gp margin on the Zolver Scales is going to be worth your time. Now, Blood Runes, we're going to go with one of our quicker flips here. Blood Runes are one of my absolute favorite flips, guys. If you've got a, I would say... 10 mil cash deck, 5, 10 mil cash deck, and you're flipping, Blood Runes are going to be your best friend. And of course, we can only get 1 GP margins today. Wow, all the margins are super, super low right now. It's most likely because this is a pretty prime time for people to play the game. So I'm actually not super surprised that our margins are not very good. When more people are playing, margins tend to be a little bit lower, but items trade faster, so it kind of balances out. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and list the mana rays next. Wow, they're really going to challenge my flipping skills today. I've got to think of a million items here to make sure we can always have something flipping. But uh, we're going to check out the mana ray here. And it looks like the mana ray is actually getting pretty high priced. Usually, these mana rays will stop at about 1,200. They usually don't go over that. So, they're uh, a little bit above the average price, I would say, that you see mana rays bounce between. Also looks like there's a pretty good spread on those mana rays, so we're going to go ahead and list the full limit, which is 10k every 4 hours. We'll let that sit for a while. Should make us a lot of money considering uh, they've already started buying, so very happy to see that. Next, we'll put sharks on top of that as well. Sharks are very similar to the mana rays. They tend to be a little bit less of a margin. I would say you're only going to get between... 3 to 5 GP on the sharks most of the time, but they flip pretty safely and they're quite fast. Today, we're only going to get 2 GP on the sharks, so in my opinion, not really worth doing. You can also do the sea turtle, the raw sea turtle, I found is uh, quite a good flip if you do it overnight. It does take some patience to do that, so I would not recommend that if you're a beginner flipper. You can get margins of up to 25 GP each. Per, like per raw turtle and i think the limit is 13k every four hours so that's also a very very solid flip but we're going to save that for another time we're not going to do that today 
Let's go ahead. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next. Uh, doesn't look like a lot of the items that we're hoping were going to work are working. So we're going to go ahead and try to check out the toxic blowpipe. This has been a really hot item here recently. It's at a very, very high price compared to uh, its average. So we got to be a little bit careful flipping it here. But the margins have been absolutely insane for this thing. And it looks like we're going to get 20k for every blowpipe we can flip, which is very, very good for the blowpipe. This is a highly flipped item. So you're usually not going to get great margins on it. Although it usually is quite an easy flip to accomplish. So again, Blowpipes really really good right now. Uh, they are starting to drop it looks like they were at like 5.1 K or 5.1 mil Excuse me the other day. So uh, just keep that in mind if you are going to flip these but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going from there Archers rings are gonna be next uh, The so I'm basically my flipping strategy right now guys is to get as many uh, I, I guess like medium level items on as I can and then with one or two slots We'll try to do some you know premium items some uh higher margin items that are going to make us a little bit more capital but again we're not going to do the archers rings today they're not a good margin uh it's only like 2k so not really worth it if you're going to flip the archers rings you want to aim for at least 10k and uh anything over that is just extra you know butter on top i guess but uh we're going to check the berserker rings too although i have mentioned this before if you do flip the archers ring or you're checking the berserker ring you're just price checking these things they tend to have a very similar price movement, so keep that in mind. If the Berserker Ring is not at a good margin, usually the Archer's Ring is not as well. And as you can see, they literally both have the same exact margin, which is quite mind-blowing to me that they are so similar. But that is with the, uh, the other rings as well, the Warrior's Ring, and any Combat Ring is going to give you those results, so keep that in mind. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream today. Leave a like if you are. I know it's a little bit later than we typically do. So uh, shout out to the late night flipping gang. But anyway, just leave a like. Let me know in the like the chat what you want me to flip. What should I try flipping? I'm not entirely sure. So, and wow, look at this. One of my good all long time viewers just logged on. Haven't seen him in a while. So we're going to uh, reach out to him telling him we're streaming. Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and keep flipping here, and we got 212 mil to work with. Not entirely sure what I'm going to put on next here. Uh, I think we'll do the Guthans armor set, and we'll see if we can get some luck with that. Gravid's already in here. Shout out to Gravid. Thank you, man, for supporting me, supporting the channel, and uh, yeah, I'm back doing some old school RuneScape streams, some money making, as, as we always have uh, for the most part before uh, that small hiatus, but wholesome reaction to me logging, bro. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the stream. Really appreciate that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and flip, I'm going to say seven Guthans armor sets for 20k each, which is pretty solid. Uh, they tend to move not as fast as the rings, so I'm actually not too excited about the Guthans armor set, but it's good enough to where I'll go ahead and flip it. Could total to about 120k ish if we succeed on that, so uh, that's very, very good work. And the Darox armor set, 11k margin. That's really questionable. Uh, I guess we'll do it just because we, there's not that many items that are going well for us today. So we'll go ahead and check that out here. Uh, give me one second to do some stream stuff here and then I will be ready to continue. Just a couple little adjustments on my end for the stream. And there we go, guys. Let's keep going here. We're going to go ahead and put this 175 mil to work i'm thinking we try to focus on some higher quantity items still because it doesn't really seem like the higher end mar like items are, are really you know holding those uh strong margins so um we'll have to see let me think here i think we can go ahead and skip all the rest of the runes we'll check out some battle staffs uh these are typically a better investment item but since we can't really find that, that much good stuff to flip today, we're going to go ahead and get a couple battle staffs going here. Really, really cheap price for the battle staffs right now. Looking very good for an investment opportunity. So if you guys are curious in investing in battle staffs, join the Discord. Link in the description below. We have a lot of people in there that actually love flipping battle staffs. So they they merch them constantly. Not to not a group merch, but they they, you know, give indicators of when the price is really low. And they tend to sell around. Uh, their high point for the battle staffs tends to be like 8.3, 8.4k uh, each. So 
this is a very good opportunity if you are trying to make a ton of bank and you have the capital to do so. But that's looking really good here. The Darox armor sets are coming in a little too fast. I'm a little bit nervous that the margin has maybe shifted downward and that's why we're picking them up so quickly. But we're going to hold off on checking that for now. Uh, we'll, we'll just have confidence that it's not going to be too bad here. Now, let's go ahead and flip another item. Uh, let's try the Abyssal Whip. Now, it's kind of funny. This item has a limit of 70, a buy limit of 70, but the margin is just never really that good on it. So, uh, we'll check it today, though, and see maybe if, uh, yeah, see a 1k margin. Really not going to do us too well there. So, we're going to keep moving along. I've tried flipping some of that uh, new, like, Dragon High armor. What is it called? HAI, I think. I... Uh, let's see. Yeah, some of this this dragon high robe and the dragon high robe bottom. If if you check the Discord, I actually had a really good flip. I think it was on the the robe bottoms here. So we're gonna go ahead and try flipping these real quick. Dragon high. That's right. Yes. What's up, Gravid? Good to see you, man. IA says whips are good sometimes. Whips can be very very good. Uh, I've seen like 8k margins on whips, which is absolutely outstanding. And an item that works very similar to the whip, doesn't trade quite as fast, but it's the Necklace of Anguish. That also has a buy limit of 70, so it's very similar to the whip, and you can tend to get at least 8k margins on the uh, Necklace of Anguish. I'll, let's actually uh, check that out right now. We'll check out the Necklace of Anguish, although one of my rules is to never flip two categories of an item at the same time. So, for example, uh, Amulets of Torture and... Uh, Necklace of Anguish are both Zenite jewelry, so if Zenite crashes, that's going to hurt both of our flips, which means we're going to be double screwed. So, of course, it works the other way as well, but if you're trying to spread out your risk, it's just good to not do this. <laughs> but, hey, I mean, I contradict myself all the time on live stream, so, you know, what can I say to that? But, anyway, let me know if you guys have any suggestions about what I should flip. I'm kind of looking for some more suggestions here, some more items to do, and we could try to do, like primordials but i think a better item is going to be the eternal boots actually uh so i actually had a good flip for these on the weekend i think we got about 15k per and we got i think like maybe 13 eternal boots so it was a really really solid flip and the margin is just not good today i cannot find a good margin for the life of me ia he mentions dragon picks yeah dragon picks are actually a very good one uh we'll check that out real quick I, I tend to not like to flip the dragon picks because they take up a lot of capital if you want to flip a lot of them so I, I just usually avoid doing them I, I tend to find you there's better items you can do considering the dragon pig axes can take a while but wow the margin on them today is looking absolutely outstanding we're gonna go in and try to flip a few of these here and I'm gonna put a good bit of capital into that We'll try to flip about seven of them at once and with the rest of my 24 mil we're gonna go ahead and try to flip some dragon darts dragon darts are an outstanding flip sometimes so we're gonna go check them out see if we can get a good margin on them and hopefully make some bank 30k on cannonballs mate you know we could do cannonballs but i kind of have a lot of money and i don't think i want to want to really you know do cannonballs anymore If I was gonna go darts, well, I'm gonna opt out. <laughs> well, you said you were flipping with uh, six mil, right, Gravid? So maybe I can give you some suggestions here. Oh, we don't have enough to flip the full quantity. We'll do uh, 10K and we'll be good on that right there. Lemire Gokul says, can we flip along with you or is this just to learn? Well, of course I encourage flipping along with me, but I, I don't encourage you using the same prices as I do. Um, I, ca I cannot advertise that we're flipping together. Uh, this is basically just to show you and teach you how to flip. That's the main, you know, purpose of this. But, uh, of course you can flip at the same time. Uh, I would appreciate if you waited until I finished an item before you tried flipping it. But, hey, I can't really control what you do on your end of the computer. So, hey, you can always do that if, if you so desire. But, uh, I, I would prefer if you didn't. It really, uh, makes the experience better for me. So, let's go ahead and we're gonna sell these for what? 3,083,000, I think? 3,083,995.
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Should sell. Dude, there's this fly that keeps buzzing around my computer. So if you hear me, like, clap, that's me just trying to kill it, okay? So don't be alarmed. Hopefully it doesn't shatter your eardrums, but... Lemire says, makes sense, man. Thanks for the advice. Just trying to learn at the moment. Lemire, I've got an awesome tip for you. Join the Discord. Link in the description below. It's literally an insane place to learn how to flip. We have over, I think, over 600 members now that are all dedicated to flipping in old school RuneScape. Just learning flipping strategies. They post screenshots of their good flips, their bad flips, their absolute record flips. The best flips that they've ever had in their entire life get posted in there. So definitely check that out. I posted, I think like eight or nine flips in there the other day. So definitely check that out. And of course, if you go in there and you reach out to me personally, I will help you. So this channel is literally all about flipping and making money in old school RuneScape. So join us here and uh, yeah, you should be able to come rich in no time. Uh, 3GP margin on Blood Runes, uh, seven, seven minute margin. Sharks were, I checked Sharks earlier in the stream, Gravid, they were low, but I also checked Blood Runes, and they were only going for, I think, a 1 GP margin. It was like 1 or 2. Uh, no, if it was a 2 GP margin, I would have flipped it, so it must have been 1. IA says, Saratube, I'm the guy with the record flips on the prayer pots. Wait, let me check that out. Uh, how long ago was that? I actually want to look at that right now. Let me see... I remember seeing it, but I, I just don't know how long ago it was. Anyway, we can find it later, but... Oh, one mil on decanting. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah, decanting is super, super powerful. Uh, I had a video on that a long time ago. It was, I think in like, I think I made it in like 2017. Uh, it's almost 2020, guys. Can you believe that? Only a few more months away before it's 2020, which means I've been doing YouTube for four years. Actually, wait, that's crazy. I think my first video was uploaded in November, if I'm not mistaken. So, coming up on four years here on YouTube, which is pretty, pretty crazy. And, of course, we just hit 2K subscribers as well, so that's been amazing, but... Of course, let's go ahead and check out the items here. Amulets of Torture finally starting to buy. Took a little bit for them to pick up speed here. Uh, the Dragon Pickaxe is moving very quick as well. Mana Rays, we're going to have to check on those in a minute. We only bought 355 of them at the very, very start, and they haven't moved since, so we're, we're going to have to check on that. Uh, Gravid says, these margins, my lord, are they good or are they bad? Because when I've checked everything today, they've been trash. Uh, the only good margin we've really found is these dragon pickaxes and these toxic bullet pipes. But besides that, most things are really, really low. Yeah, this Gravid says most things are low. Yeah, exactly. Can't really find uh, too much success here, so. We'll keep going at it, though. You know if I just keep cranking away at these flips, we're going to hit something good, so. Tassies have 23k. Oh my god. That's so low. I wonder why that is. Maybe just a lot of playtime right now. People buying and selling a lot of items. May Gotham be with you, brother. <laughs> I did see the new, uh, the new Joker movie. It was really, really good. Or I liked it, at least. Let's go ahead and sell these Guthans armor sets for... 2,241,2,241,995, list that, let it do its thing, the total profits on that are going to be quite nice, I think we're going to get 20k per Guthans armor set here, uh, yes, that looks about right, so, happy with that, Joker is fire, I know man, it's, it's a really good movie, Acro Lance says, hey y'all, what's up Acro Lance, good to see you, thanks for tuning in today, I know you hit the like button already, so I don't even have to think about that. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the Minecraft server as well, or are enjoying it. Uh, I know there's a few edits that I have to put on there as well, but I'm going to get around to it. Don't worry. I wanted to stream today because it's been a minute since I've streamed, and I want to stream every day this week, guys. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. We're going to have a lot of streams this week, and maybe not on Friday. We might not be streaming Friday, but uh, besides that, we're going to have a stream every day. So... We're going to go ahead and sell these dragon pickaxes for 6.56. I 
think that's what they're going for. 6568995. That should be fine. Let's go ahead and look. Wow, I literally bought it for 995. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, we're going to knock it down just a little bit then. 6568990. And we'll let that sit for a while. Smooth stream, though. Oh my, until I said that. Evan Johnson says, smooth stream, yo. Thank you, man. Really do appreciate that. It looks good, right? It's very high quality, which it's really easy to bring, like, high quality streams when you're streaming RuneScape because it's so, like, has such low graphical demand and you can just stream, like, 1080p, no problem. So, I really like it. But if you guys remember on the old PC, uh, we, we only used to stream in, I think, 720p because we couldn't, we couldn't have a 1080p output. It was too, uh... It's too intensive for the computer. That thing was so old, man. I'm so happy we have a new one. Anyway, we're going to turn around and sell these amulets of torture here. And we're going to sell them for 50 million and 50,000. 15049995. List that. Let it do its thing. Give me those profits. Okay, I'm actually happy because a lot of these items are buying in really fast now, so we can turn around and sell them. I was a little nervous we weren't going to be able to buy a lot, and that margins were just not going to be on our side today. But it looks like we're actually having a little bit of success now, so we're going to turn around and sell these dragon darts here for 2,418. 2,418, list that, let it do its thing, and we're going to keep going here. Can't even get a 1% margin out here. I know, Grimid, it's tough, it's tough. But I'm hoping some of this stuff is going to sell for us. Uh, we'll be patient, and hopefully we can have a little bit of success. We're going to turn around and sell these blowpipes here. I think we're getting 20k on them as well. Yeah, a little bit under 5 mil is what they're going to sell for. Boom, list that. Let it do its thing. And now, that's what I love about flipping right here. You just sit back, kick back, relax, and just... You don't even have to touch the keyboard. You make money, so it's the best. It's kind of weird though, because flipping has been pretty good all week, so I, I don't know why all of a sudden it's just, you know, really bad margins. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but we'll go with it. What have you guys been flipping in old school RuneScape so far? Maybe you haven't been flipping, maybe you've been progressing your accounts. What have you been doing? Gravid, it's good to see you back. I haven't seen you online in a while. Uh, I think you quit and then I took a break to play Classic WoW, so I really haven't been on RuneScape that much recently. So I think there was like a little disconnect there. Thank you all for tuning in today. Leave a like if you are enjoying the stream. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you're new around here. This is the best place to learn how to flip in old school RuneScape and make maximum bank. Trust me, if you go back to some of my earlier streams, we only had like 50 mil. Like if you go way back, I think if, if you go to like the first 10 streams we've ever done, I had like 10 mil, dude. Lemire says, how much do you usually make for merching in a week? Man, I miss merching in Fally Garden back in like 06. Wow, Lemire, you are an OG player, man. Uh, I, I actually never... So when I was playing RuneScape way back then, I think I played in like 2006, 2007 as well. And I I was so young that I didn't really know that Falador was a place to trade. I thought it only happened in Varrock. That people stood behind the bank. And I, I mean, I probably got scammed for everything I had. I don't really remember, but... I definitely didn't know the prices of things. Could barely do math. Anyway, Burning Clip says, I'm flipping my tears. Man, take those tears, alk them into a little cash stack, and then flip on the Grand Exchange. That's how you're going to make maximum bank. So you got to conserve everything you got. If you're crying, you got to you gotta alk that. I'm flipping AGSs. Uh, what's crazy to me is the AGS is so low priced. Like, the AGS used to be an iconic item. What happened? What happened? Can I have an anguish? <laughs> With a smiley face says Bobby. I, I mean, I'd give you one if I could buy one here, but man, I'm not getting any luck on that. 
Evan Johnson says, I suck at flipping. Well, Evan, that's why I'm here, man, to teach you how to flip in old school RuneScape. So just follow along. Hopefully I can give you as many tips as, as you need and just coach you through flipping. And of course, I think this is a good time to mention that I have a Discord channel that is dedicated to flipping and money making in old school RuneScape. So check that out. Link in the description below if you are interested. Of course, subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on this video are going to help you out as well as it comes to... Uh, you know, making money in RuneScape. I got all the tips here for you guys, so hopefully you do enjoy. Fally, they sold rares. Okay, so that's what it was. Acro Lance fixed the computer lag problem. He's been lagging for a good two weeks, it feels like. Okay, it was a Firefox error. I don't use Firefox, so I'm not too familiar. Lemire says, I would go and learn math at school, then come home and rob people blind flipping Zerker rings. <laughs> that's cruel, but hey. Gotta make money somehow, man. 13 mil for an, for an ages. I think you meant to say AGS Gravid, but we'll give it to you, man. You sound like a car salesman. Are you trying to promote something? I'll, I'll take that as a very nice compliment. I don't think I'm a salesperson at all. Trust me, I am definitely not good at sales. But hey, if I'm selling you on my Discord group and you're clicking the link in the description below, I guess that's... I, I would say that's not selling, that's promoting, right? So... Flipping to Max, hey, haven't seen you in a minute, man. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you smacked that like button. I know you probably did, so thank you, thank you. And uh, it's good to see you back. Hopefully you are actually flipping to Max. Burning Clips saying, nah, JK, I was flipping Bendis boots and Medgear uh, items. Okay, well, uh, hey, that's better than uh, flipping your Alked tears. So we'll go with that. Sell that like button. 250k on the dragon uh dragon hunter lance i do like doing the dragon hunter lance now i actually like the dragon hunter lance way more than the dragon hunter crossbow it's way easier to flip in my opinion uh the dragon hunter crossbow like the margins are super wonky on it in my opinion Okay, Gravid really wants me to flip the prayer pot, so we'll try to flip some prayer pots, and then after that, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna try and flip the lance, I think, so. Knowing Gravid, he's gonna make me check a, like, 1 GP margin here, but we'll see, we'll see what he's got for us here. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions about what I should be flipping, or if you have any questions about what you should be flipping with your cash deck, let me know. Uh, oh my god. Oh, that's bank. Oh my. Gravid with the find. Slow, slow, quick buy. Don't panic, my boy. Dude, that sounds like panic to me, my guy. Anything that sells slowly but buys quickly, probably crashing, man. Slow buy, quick sell. Got it. Uh, well, now we expose that to the whole stream, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, I don't know if that's a slow buy. I'm, I think we're, we might be riding a crash here, boys. Uh, cross your fingers, but we'll see what happens. But that's the excitement of flipping. Like... You put so much money down on the line, and sometimes you can just make absolute bank. But most of the time, guys, like, flipping is, is very safe uh, as far as money making goes. You just have to know what you're doing. You gotta watch a lot of videos, study up. There's a lot of good YouTubers out there that can teach you how to flip. Uh, I'm one of them, but flipping old school is another one, small EXP lamp. There's a lot of good flipping YouTubers out there as well. So check out their content as well. It's gonna help you out and give you a better perspective overall of how to flip in old school RuneScape. But of course, if you want that personal one one-on-one -on -one training. I'm your guy. You can ask me any question you want in the live chat and I can help you out with all of my flipping knowledge. Uh, if 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 it's, uh, if it's I'm not selling you on that and you don't think I have the knowledge to do so and you think I'm a noob flipping here, well, let me tell you, I've been flipping for almost four years at this point for YouTube. So if you don't believe me, check out my channel. I've got all the streams up on there for you guys as well as the videos. So uh, yeah, we're coming up on four years here on YouTube, guys. Pretty, pretty crazy. And Gravid's been around for like three of those. Where uh, I think uh, Harith is probably sleeping at this time, but dude, Harith has been around forever, my guy. Whew. He was like here before I was like 100 subs, so that's crazy. That's the reason I said I was going to cry if I got crashed on, lol. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens with me here. Um, I actually, I feel uh, confident. I, I trust your, your flipping abilities, Gravid. Now, we're going to have to knock these dragon pickaxes down, and we're going to adjust the mana rays, because they're not really working out for us. Uh, and we're going to cut back on the dragon pickaxes. We're going to sell for 6,500,000 and... 
65 maybe? 6565995. List that, let it do its thing, and yeah, we'll go on from there. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the stream, leave a like, really does help me out a lot. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Always bringing flipping content and flipping live streams to the channel for you guys to enjoy. So hopefully you do enjoy them. Streaming every day this week. Hold me to it in the Discord. And uh, yeah, we're just going to make a lot of money this week. Nothing about it. I just love flipping an old school RuneScape. I should do it on more accounts than one. Like, I legitimately only play this game to flip these days. Give me uh, one second here, guys. I'm a very popular man and got a text message. <laughs> oh, funny text. Uh... Bobby says, do you play the game or do you just flip? Basically just flip uh, for the most part, but um, I do do both. Yes, uh, but I, I would say I flip more than I... Uh... And actually play the game so odd flex but okay my roommate texted me um about the apartment so i just wanted to make sure i looked at it um manatee gaming does a really good job of flipping videos too uh i'm assuming that means burning clips you're you're giving me a little uh pat on the back there a little appreciation so thank you but uh yeah we'll give manatee gaming a shout out as well uh apparently he does good flipping videos check him out i guess Exo Rhyme saying, just saying, bro, I think you're amazing for doing this. Always in such a good mood and bringing happiness to everyone. <laughs> Not trying to be gay, but keep it up, bro. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate that, man. I, I, that's why I literally stream is I get comments like that. And surprisingly, you'd think I'd get a lot of hate comments too, but it doesn't happen a lot. I just have a lot of people come in here. They learn from me. They learn how to flip and then they go off and make like 50 mil. And they come back and tell me in the Discord or in the live chat. And I just love it, man. So thank you for the warm wishes there, XO. And uh, yeah, really do appreciate that. But yes, I've been doing this for, for quite a long time. Almost four years here on YouTube. But I don't think we streamed... I don't think we've been streaming for uh, four years. I think we've been streaming for about three. And not like super consistently, let me tell you, but um, it has been a long time coming for this channel. So thank you to all that have been dedicated to helping me grow and helping yourself grow and make absolute bank in old school RuneScape. We were able to sell those uh, dragon pickaxes for lower here, it looks like, guys. So uh, it looks like the margin on them just fell down a little bit. Not a problem. Burning Clip says, why don't you flip on multiple accounts? That is a great question, and I do get that a fair bit here. Um, so I have, here's the thing, is it's tough for me to flip on two accounts and do a live stream. That's the issue I'm running into. When I flip on these live streams, uh, I try, well, of course I try to make as much money as I can myself, but I, my goal is to teach you guys how to flip, teach you the strategies that I've learned, you know, in my entire journey of flipping, and just hope that you guys can take away from it. So by flipping on two accounts, it would actually take away my focus from talking with the chat and uh, just getting back to you guys, teaching you guys the methods. So. I, I don't want to flip on two accounts on stream. That being said, off stream, sometimes I will flip on two accounts, sometimes I won't. Really depends. If if I think I'm going to be flipping a lot that week, I'll uh, buy a bond, put it on my alt, and flip on two accounts. Uh, I also don't have a ton of money to where flipping on two accounts is, makes a huge difference. Of course, I'm going to make more money on two accounts, no doubt about that. But if I'm going to flip on two accounts, I'm going to want each to have at least 250 mil, because then I can really maximize my income. Give me uh, one second here, guys. I'm going to run upstairs real quick, and I'll be right back down.
Sorry about that, guys. We are back. Um, alright. Now, let me just get back to the flipping really quick. Sorry, there was a, a, a little, uh, problem in my apartment there. Had to take care of it real quick. And we're gonna list these prayer potions for, uh, 10,885. That's gonna be a huge flip if we can succeed. Anyway. Dylan Peterson saying, sup, Sierra, good to see you, man. Let's get back to those other comments as well that uh, I ran away from so urgently. Exo says, you should start a series, bro, and be more consistent on YouTube. Obviously, don't stress yourself out, but it's a good idea. I agree, man, and we will get to that. We could continue our Flipping with Tube series, or we can try to do some challenge videos or something. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet. Well, I'm going to sleep now. Have a good one, my guy. Thank you, XO. You're probably sleeping now, but thank you for the kind words. Again, really do appreciate it. Vel says, honestly, a great channel to have in the background. Thank you, man. Music, occasional talking about a relaxed subject, and no screaming. Do you want me to ruin that for you? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. It's good to see you, though, uh, Dylan Peterson. And Vel, thank you for the, uh, the compliments as well. Let's go ahead and flip the Dragon Hunter Lance. Should be a really good item for us here. One of my favorite items to flip, so we'll take a look here. Apparently the margin was pretty good. Oh yeah, about 200k on that. Very, very solid margin. We'll flip uh, one of those since we don't have enough to flip two of them. We'll knock that up to quite a little bit above and we'll go in and try to get one. Flipping with who? Flipping with Siratube. It's a series I have on my channel. Haven't updated that in a while. Uh, it's basically like the live streams, but I attempt bigger items, bigger margins, and it's kind of over a long time period, condensed down into about a 10 minute episode for you guys. And that's, uh, I like doing those because I can get really, really solid flips there, but I don't have to worry about streaming. And I, you know, people aren't looking at my margins and competing with me as much. I can get really good margins. Pat MD, oh wow, good to see you, man. He says, sorry, I can't stay too long. Just wanted to drop by and say hi. Thank you, Pat MD. Good to see you, man. And no worries about that. Bobby also asking what I do as a job in real life. I am a technical consultant for uh, a large firm, basically. So, uh, yeah, I am on that nine to. It's basically nine to six, but um, I do like to stream on the off hours, and I am, you know, I do really want to be more serious about streaming RuneScape and just streaming more consistently. So. I think during the week, we'll do streams uh, after work. I mean, I can't imagine doing them before work. Uh, there just won't be enough viewership, I don't think. But this is also kind of a later segment for our European viewers as well, so I feel really bad. But on the weekends, uh, yeah, we can definitely try to do a Saturday and Sunday stream. So every day of the week, we could be streaming and really improve at it. But I'm not entirely sure when we're going to do those, but... Uh, or, you know, when during the day. Maybe we'll do them at noon like we used to do. Uh, Ye says, I've been selling them. The D-Lances just sold one for 89.1 mil. Wow, really incredible, man. We'll have to check that out for us as well. These prayer potions are kind of sketching me out a little bit. We'll have to, uh... See if we can get them out for a little bit lower of a price. Still would be a really good flip if we can get them off for that. Oh, yes, we can. Look at that. Do I have an accent? I never really noticed that. Um, from the United States, I guess. New York area. But I don't sound uh, very New Yorkish, so... At least I don't think so. My whole phone just crashed. Hey, that's what that's what happens when you have an Android, dude. It just crashes on you. Anyway, anyone having any successful flips right now? I know IA was flipping the lances as well, but maybe someone else has got some really good items going. Let me know in the live chat. And of course, if you guys have any questions about what to flip with your cash stack or anything like that, let me know in the live chat as well, and I can help you flip with your money. Not actually physically do it for you, but I have an iPhone. Same, dude. Don't sound like it to me, but everyone thinks I'm from New York. Well, you're from hmm, Arizona. 
Nevada? Oh, where? <laughs> I forget. I think it's Nevada. It's Nevada. Because you, you live near, uh... Well, I'm not gonna expose you, bro. I'm not gonna expose you. Don't worry about it. Help me flip, boy. I haven't had only six mil in two years. I knew you lived in, around the Las Vegas area, okay? I just forgot if Las Vegas was in Arizona or Nevada, okay? But I figured it out. You can check margin, margins on Dragonfire Shields. I haven't done them today. You know, the, the problem I find with Dragonfire Shields is... it's I guess it's not really a problem, but they're always... Always. Always. Always a 20k margin. Literally every time I check them, it's 20k. Or close. Anyway, we were able to succeed on those uh, dragon pickaxes here. Really, really nice work. Wow, we actually made way more on those than I thought we did. So we're going to go in and try to get a few more here. Bobby says, MA, I go to school close to New York. That's awesome, dude. That is really sweet. Uh, it's probably upstate New York if I had to guess. And he still docks me. Well, I mean, come on. No one's going to really uh, pursue you, I don't think. You making bank off them prey pots? Yes, thank you, Gravid. Although I got nervous. I sold for a little bit lower, dude. Because um, I tried selling them. They didn't start selling immediately, and I got scared. So, hey. The thing is, I had to be scared. Because when you see margins like that on prey potions, like, it's only a matter of time before that cuts off. So, you got to be careful. It's so scary. Yeah, see? Yeah, we're, we're on the same page. Don't worry. Anyway, I'm curious as to what your guys' biggest flips have ever been in old school RuneScape. We talk about this, like, every every couple streams we'll, we'll talk about this with the live chat. And my biggest flip to date was a 15.2 mil flip of a Garazi Rapier. And I've never done better than that. 15.2 mil in one flip. One single flip has been my all-time greatest flip ever. And uh, imagine that, dude. You flip one item and you make enough for, like three bonds. Crazy. What's up with these divine pots? I'm not too sure actually. I haven't tried flipping any of the new potions because I stick to my guns, stick to the classic pots. You know how it is. And uh, they're just, I don't know. I like flipping prayer potions, stamina potions. I don't mess with any of the new stuff uh, as much. Although if a new item gets released, it is very fun to try to flip that. So we could try flipping the dragon high here in a little bit, uh, but we can't sell these dang Guthans armor sets, which uh, kind of stinks here. But we're going to go ahead and try to sell them for 2.239 million, that is, and uh, see if we can get those off. IA says, I wouldn't recommend divines. Uh, what does a divine potion actually do? Uh, I know I'm kind of a noob asking that, but I actually don't know what the divine potion does. My guess is it gives prayer and probably gives some stat as well. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. 14 viewers. That's actually a lot of viewers considering this time that we're streaming. So thank you all for tuning in. Leave a like if you are enjoying the stream, of course. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more streams like this, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for the rest of the week. We'll be streaming every day after work for me. Uh, so it'll be around 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those on the Eastern Zone. They work like overloads, but it's a super combat or super attack. Interesting. Okay. Huh. I thought it would be like, uh, when you say divine, I thought it would give like prayer points or something, but I guess not. Gravid says they have a 10% margin and uh, they are under the regular price. I don't trust it. That's true. That's true. The thing is, like, sometimes it's it's like a how much risk do you want to take, right? So you see prayer potions, they're going for like 500 GP each, and you can flip them and make like a mil, but you're like, I could also lose like a mil. Like, you know, I've been in so many situations like that. I've had tons of successes and tons of losses. But I always like doing it because it's just fun to be on the edge, like risking that money and potentially making bank off of it. Because you want to get that juicy, juicy screenshot to brag in the Discord. 
Anyway, uh, Lemire asks, off topic, but what do you do for study slash work? Uh, so I'm working now. When I started this channel, I was in school, but I am a technical consultant for a large firm. So uh, I know that's pretty broad, but nah, I don't like to talk about work outside of school. I was about to say outside of school, outside of, uh, outside of work. So, because uh, when you're home, you want to enjoy being home. When you're at work, you focus on your work, right? So that's my philosophy. 15 viewers, thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate that. And uh, drop a like if you're enjoying the stream. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And join us in the Discord. Link in the description below. An amazing resource to learn how to flip with your cash stack. And if you go in there and message me personally, I will talk to you. Um, I've got a ton of success stories that come out of there. Seriously, people come in to this. I'm not even kidding. People come into the Discord, literally learn how to flip. And then, like, I never hear from them again. But they come back and they say, you taught me so much, I'm now at 50 mil. See you later. It's literally happened, like, over 10 times. I'm not even kidding. I know where you're a consultant at. No, you don't. Don't even try. Don't expose me, if you actually know. <laughs> you little stalker. Anyway. We can't get this Dragon Hunter Lance, which really stinks, uh... Looks like it went up in margin a little bit. I know that IA was selling it a little bit more um, than what it was at. So maybe the margin moved upwards a little bit here. If you actually know Gravid, shoot me a DM in uh, Discord and tell me. I'll tell you if you're, I'll tell you if you're right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, okay? I wonder, you know, I honestly, this is a question that I, that I have for you guys in the live chat. Do you want to see Jagex do anything about the state of the economy? Do you want them to take a stance on it? Do you want them to intervene and try to, uh, you know, try to fix things a little bit? Currently, I believe the game is very inflated with a lot of these items. Of course, some of them still hold a good price point back to, uh, when they were, you know, where they were at before and things like that. But do you think that Jagex should do something about the economy because gold is so inflated right now like annuals of torture have been around 15 mil for like three years but 15 mil is not you know worth what 15 mil used to be a couple years ago uh it needs a good item sink item sink or even a gold sink would be nice it's nice they added in the dual arena to take away a lot of cash i do like that um I think it's a great addition considering staking is uh, basically gambling so you should pay a little bit of a tax on it uh how would you feel about death tax comes from rs medicine that's funny uh what do you think about a possible ge tax i did a video on how the ge tax would affect the economy you can check out my channel if you're interested in seeing that but i would not be for it personally uh the reason is if that happened like people would start trading to avoid the tax like you know actually trading and if that happens people are going to start scamming i think you should lose 10 percent cash stack for pvm depths i really like that idea Griffith. but the problem with it is if if you want to make that work maybe let's say someone has zero cash in their bank but they got all these really really elite items right and then they go die like what do you like get rid of their armor and sell it back to the GE automatically at lowest price. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you split up an actual asset in the game? You can't really do that. GE tax would be amazing only for super highly traded items. Uh, only runes, for example. Well, but then, then again, you could say like, it would be, a tax would be good if you only on really high price items like items over 100 mil because if an item's over 100 mil then the player currently has money to spend right so why not tax a mil on the trade see like that would be a good tax too but like you can't do that you know it's 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 a little unfair to you know segregate some items uh, away from other items right so i don't know they should delete all accounts and remove items from their bank i really like that idea especially old free-to-play accounts if someone has membership and uh, or they've had membership before i don't think they should have their account removed but there's so many like bots and free-to-play accounts that maybe are just like little mules or, or are holding cash uh for a larger operation that could be maybe targeted that's a really good suggestion though i like that bobby 
Uh, G, uh, tax on highly priced items encourages potential scamming and ruins slipping a bit. That's true, uh, but that being said, it here, the thing with the GE tax is it doesn't actually affect flipping. Because what happens is, since there's a tax, the margin will just be added on to the tax, right? So if an item, let's say it has a tax of 500k every time you trade it, well, the item had a 10k margin before, but now it's got a 510k margin because there is a 10% or that whatever the tax is on there. Uh, that was a really bad explanation. The uh, 500k tax is there, so there's going to be that on top of the uh the actual margin itself so uh it would actually get uh, moved around put higher alk values uh wouldn't that bring more money into the game though because people would still alk right i was gonna say yeah but then my tebow would be gone from me quitting for a while but i'd be salty well that's why i'm saying only strictly free to play accounts that haven't been logged on to for like five years like come on if you haven't logged on to your free-to-play account in five years like we don't got unlimited storage over here you know what i'm saying uh yeah acrolance i can see your messages uh i i know you mentioned something a while up here uh where is it oh yeah here i i sorry i missed that dude uh, Acroland said the best way to uninflate the economy is two things uh, that must be done in the same time one uh, put full bot watch in the bot detection of course we need I want bots gone but it's a problem RuneScape has had forever and I don't think there's ever going to be a fix to it and two slightly change the death mechanics to be a little more harsh definitely um, I, I don't think there's been any like uh, DDoS attacks in the uh, the RuneScape community recently against higher end streamers uh, so I think that's very valid uh, put more GP in, but items are going to be worth more. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the problem is, like, if if you put a higher ALK value, right, and then you ALK an item, there is less items, but cash is also worth less, right? Because there's more in the game. So, yeah, I mean... Does that make sense? I don't really know. I'm It's kind of, like, made my brain explode a little bit there. Hold on. Let me think. So, if you, if you raise the ALK value... But you take an item out of the game, you're still removing value from the game. So yeah, it would help. But would it help more than if it was a lower ALK value? But then people would ALK less, right? I don't... I think it would be about the same, I think. Anyway, we are able to... <laughs> that was, like, really difficult me for me to, like, think about that. Anyway. <laughs> we sold the uh, Guthans armor sets here. It looks like we made about... Take a look at that. About 100k. A little bit less. We made about 90k on those. Now, these prayer potions, I'm pumped to see this prayer potion flip, guys. Oh my god. 500k, absolutely slaying it on the prayer potions. Really excited to see that. Thank you, Gravid, for the suggestion. Wow, you're not going to see margins like that, guys, on prayer potions, let me tell you. Vel says the best way to fix the economy is to have lottery where random accounts every week lose their entire bank. Easy fix. But then people, you know what people would, well, I don't know. Would people make more accounts to try to avoid that? But then if you did that, then all your accounts also have a chance of getting their money removed. But you could spread out your risk though. So, I mean, you could put five mil on 10 accounts, right? And then it's like if one gets wiped, it's not a big deal. I like this creativity. You guys are very creative today with these fixes. Acrolan says, Bot Watch is the fix, is the fix to bots. They have more implemented in RS3 where they don't have as much implemented in OSRS. Not sure why. Uh, RS3 bots never last more than a few days. It's because the code that Old School's written on is not really modernized. So they can't put in tracking features and like higher end bot detection in old school runescape than they can with new runescape so instead of you know oh we're gonna put a new anti-cheat software in uh for new runescape well you can't really do that with old runescape so kind of stinks anyway i think we're just gonna take the l on this dragon hunter lance we cannot get one so we're just gonna have to bite the bullet on that 200k margin check but eh. when you flip that's what happens uh, these dragon darts have been giving us a little bit of trouble here. We're gonna knock them down to like 
Uh, actually, let's actually uh, just check the margin again. That's why I really like flipping high quantity items, is you can just check the margin again, and it's really not a big deal. Uh, so you just buy another one, and we can go ahead and see. 2, 4, 15, so we'll go 2, 4, 14. Oh, that's 1, 4. So actually, you guys are probably going to be surprised to hear this, but I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go recently, surprisingly, and I've been having a great time. So, hey, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Bobby said, going to bed, this daylight saving has me messed up, dude, I know, right? And it's so dark outside right now, it's crazy. If you live on the East Coast, like, it's dark at like 5 p.m. now, so that really, really stinks, but... Alright, Bobby, good night, man, and uh, when do you stream again? We'll be streaming tomorrow around the same time, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, if you want to be in tune with the most up-to-date streaming schedule, join us on Discord, link in the description below. It's a great place to stay tuned to the live streams and also use as a resource to make maximum bank in RuneScape. Leave a like, subscribe, and good night, Bobby. IA says, I also can't get any lances. I know, dude, we're struggling out here. But uh, that happens, man. Sometimes you're not going to be able to flip items or uh, they're just going to move too quickly for you. And I think the uh, the lance was moving quite quickly upwards in price when we were trying to get in on it. So no worries, no worries. Sometimes you just miss the boat a little bit. Nice margin on the Armado crossbow. Let's try to crank a few of those before we uh, get kind of towards the end of the stream here. Uh, we got about five minutes left here on the stream. So we'll see if we can rip a few armadillo crossbows real quick and hopefully make some bank on those. We're going to sit with the rest of the 37 mil for now because I don't want to get invested in any more flips. We'll turn around and sell these mana rays as well. We're going to just check the buy price one more time on those, or excuse me, the sell price for those mana rays right now. And 1,096, we'll go 1,095. I remember on one of the QAs, there was a suggestion for a lottery in game. In a form, you pay 20k to try to pull a sword out of a stone. Only one person can pull the sword every week. Wow, that's really cool. If you get the sword, you get 90% of the pool or one try per month. Wow. That's a really interesting idea, actually. Let me think about that one. That's good. It's good that you get 90% of the winnings, so money is taken out of the game. Although... That's kind of going to make a massive wealth divide, right? Like, that's going to be crazy. But what if no one pulls it? What if it's your week and you don't pull it? Like, what if you're selected? And you just, like, forget to do it. Or you don't have 20k. Hmm. I just think it spills over to the next week, probably, right? I mean, I couldn't think of another way to really go about that one. Just got a 5 to 4 GP margin by riding the crash waves on the Zolver scales. Oh, that's a really good idea. Get those Zolver scales going. Yeah, dude. I, like, the Zolver scales are such an interesting item. Like, they, they go really high up in price, and then they crash to nothing. And then they slowly, like, over the course of, like, six months, they just creep up and up and up and up, and then they just crash. Once per day, yeah, you get a lot of money out of the game that way. I like that idea, actually, but it's just another gambling thing, though, you know? And look at this. Someone asking the price of the bond in Old School RuneScape right now. 5.4 million for a bond in this game, guys. Things are getting crazy. If you need gold in game, then hey, you might want to start by buying a bond with some real dinero. Technically, the best moneymaker in RuneScape is to get a real job and then transfer all your money over. But, hey... You heard it here first. Almost got all those tortures off. And I'm, hey, I mean transferring your money into the game the legal way through buying bonds. Don't do any of that, you know, illegal money transferring stuff. Don't do that. You'll, you'll get banned. Money transferring stuff. I mean, real world trading. Don't do that. I couldn't even think of the word. It's been that long. I got one bond for 5.2 mil yesterday. Well, just keep in mind, guys. If the graphs do follow suit as they have in prior years, then bonds will be crashing around the holiday season. So keep that in mind. Bonds usually fall very, very low in price around uh, the January to March timeframe. So if you're looking to make a big investment, keep that in mind. Although bonds are at all time highs. I don't think they've ever been 5.3 mil. And it's 
kind of concerning to see them that high priced considering how close we are to that January time frame, but we still got a couple months. Blowpipe's holding at 5 mil, not horrible. When those Zara scales fall too, though, uh, you know those Zara scale items are going to be going down as well. Twitch free 14-day membership coming up soon. That is a very good point, PatMD. That is going to drive those bond prices downwards. Scale's going at two, uh, 240, so they're probably going to go back to 200. Why are the scales crashing? Because of the blowpipe? They're all related, so it's just all raw items in general. Tends, they tend to crash. I mean, not all the drops, but... We're actually going to cut back on the Arminal Crossbow here, just because we will be wrapping up the stream. Uh, looks like we're going to leave everything else. It should easily sell overnight. I'm actually not really concerned about that at all. Should be a very easy, uh, easy victory on that. Anyway, we're going to keep that 165 mil in the bank. I will keep you guys up to date with the profits on tomorrow's stream. We'll start the stream with a profit analysis of what we made this stream. So be sure to tune in tomorrow around 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be bringing you guys another stream after work. Free membership, more bots, more bots doing Zara. That's a 200 IQ play right there. And that's actually really true. Um, I, I wasn't actually thinking about that. I was just thinking, oh, you know, free membership bonds are going to go down because people have free membership. So why would you buy a bond? But that is why bonds are going to go down mainly. But then more bots doing Zara is going to drive those Zara scale prices down as well. Get ready for the OSRS recession. It's coming up, guys. Get your items. Get them sold, get your maximum value that you can, and uh, wait for things to consolidate and just pump that money back in. You'll save a lot of money. Anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the stream today. Leave a like if you did. Join us on Discord, link in the description below if you want to just kind of have a nice place to talk with other flippers, talk about flipping strategies, and learn how to make absolute bank in old school RuneScape. And of course, thank you all for tuning in today, and I'll see you all next time. This guy's gonna get in my way.